Take four. This is Len Brizzy, page builder with JP, and we're looking at the new block dividers feature. And the reason why this is take four is because the dogs are hearing something this morning and they keep barking every five minutes and it just happens in the middle of a video. I have to restart everything. Okay, so I gave this speech already three times. Let me give it a fourth time. And that is that I believe something like block dividers, just like sliders, they should come with a huge warning, and that is use with caution and use sparsely. Don't just go out and use all these nice things on your website all over. Your website can look very gimmicky very soon. On the other hand, if used correctly, the dividers can really lend a great aesthetic to your website, make things look connected, but at the same time, give clear division on the different blocks aka sections in your website. Dividers have become very popular. All page builders are bringing them in. People are screaming for dividers like it's going out of fashion. But I want to say, be careful. Your website can look very much like a kindergarten project very soon if you don't apply them correctly. Let's first look at what dividers can do. I'm going to drag in a pre-made block because we are going to be working with blocks. You access the dividers up here. Go to the icon, click on settings, more settings, and then you will see down here, it says dividers and type. You have a top divider and you have a bottom divider. Let's apply the top divider by clicking this one. You can change the color to white, any other color you like. You can change the height of that divider and you can flip it and you can bring it to the forefront overlaying your contents with this button. Then you can apply a bottom divider by clicking on this one. Same thing, you can apply a color for it. You can change the height. You can flip it. Hey, welcome to France. And you can bring it to the forefront and take it to the back. This is just one way of how you can be using a divider. In fact, it doesn't look like a divider at all, right? It looks more like something you use to stylize your block. Let's look at how you can use a divider for cohesion across your page. I'm going to drag that one in again. Go to the dividers, more settings, and let's apply the one at the top. I'm going to leave it on black and one at the bottom, same. This already looks very nice, but how are we going to apply this now across the page? This is where dividers come in as they connect different blocks. So I'm going to use this time a dark block and I want to use something with the image to the left. Let me just see if I can find something here. Everything seems to be to the right, not to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. There we go. So I've put in this one. Now, the first problem we face is that this divider here is black. This background is a charcoal blue. So I'm going in here to my colors and I change the background to black. You see, now we have connected these blocks in a way at the same time we've divided them. But where dividers become now very nice uh, to use, my teacher would hate me for saying nice, is that we can go and choose this column, click on more settings, and then I'm going to disconnect my margin here and apply a negative margin to that image. Then it only goes to down a minus 100 pixels. Click on it and I'm going to decrease it more until it goes over it. You see, this is just an idea of how dividers can at the same time separate, but at the same time also connect. And this is how you start applying things all over your site. For example, then with this one, um, I forgot now, I have to think now very carefully, advanced and animation. That's what I was thinking. Let's scroll down. What do we have here? Flip, right? So now you have, ooh la la, that was quite aggressive. Right, so you see, this is how you can use the dividers across your blocks to connect them, but at the same time to separate them. And then like in the previous example I showed you, you can use the divider to stylize your block. There's a lot that you can do with it. People get very creative with it. And my advice would be that if you haven't used dividers before, take it easy, look at what other people do, and then copy theirs first, 
and use yours sparingly and try to match them. Don't go and then here at the bottom for this one, go to your dividers and add one at the bottom and then add something like this. Okay, let's change the color so you know what I'm talking about, this. You know, unless of course you are making a law website firm for a kindergarten, then maybe you can add that at the bottom. Finally, I think almost in every video, I need to bring in this part because it's just one of those things that we keep forgetting and that I have to keep reminding all of us is that 60% plus of websites are viewed on mobile. So once you have put all your dividers in there, you have to go and check how it looks on mobile. And some of them will look really bad. In this case, they look pretty good, except here, when you see this, you will have to go and think, do I want to change the color of my, uh, my text here? Or do I want to add some space here and bring it down? This one looks pretty nice. I like it. And even for my law firm kindergarten website, this little divider here at the bottom, not too bad. That's it. That's our divider section for blocks. Very good. It's a, a quick rollout. This is something that most page builders only get at a later phase. But I believe there's a lot of people that's going to have sleepless nights tonight because they're going to go divider crazy. This is JP with Learn Brizzy Page Builder.